Hello everyone, thanks for joining us here on Horizon. Well, since 2007, more people have died from overdoses from prescription painkillers that have been killed in car crashes. It's a growing problem that's especially acute here in Oklahoma. According to the U.S. Center for Disease Control, Oklahoma is one of a half a dozen states with the highest death rates from those painkillers. Now, work is underway trying to lower that number, but it's a complex problem with no easy answers. Joining me now is our Andy Barr. Well, Rob, the death rates from prescription drug abuse jumped dramatically between 1999 and 2010. And according to the Center for Disease Control, the number of deaths from painkiller overdoses increased five times for men between 1999 and 2010, a significant increase that is dwarfed by the growing death rate among Oklahoma women. The number of deaths of accidental overdoses among these women has grown sevenfold since 1999 a disturbing statistic that is impacting all segments of society. They help us when we're sick and when we're in pain, but the long list of warnings on prescription drug labels are there to be read and taken seriously. Last year in Oklahoma, uh, we had 643 drug-related deaths and 86% of those involved prescription drugs. Mark Woodward is the spokesman for the Oklahoma Bureau of Narcotics and says prescription drug abusers come in all kinds. Sometimes they're the last people you'd suspect, business professionals, college educated, people who've never used an illegal drug in their life, but they got hooked on the prescription drugs after a legitimate problem um, and they, they just couldn't let go of it. And one person who couldn't let go is former OSU basketball coach, Sean Sutton. I accept full responsibility for what happened. There are no excuses. I did it and I'm sorry. Sutton sought help from the Cirque Lodge, a drug and alcohol rehabilitation center in Utah. Gary Fisher is the lodge's director. Prescription medications are almost like job security for the treatment industry. It is a plague in our nation. It's something that we absolutely can do something about. And Fisher says not only is prescription drug abuse a dangerous problem, it's also expensive. America spends more money on uh, criminal justice and medical help for people with alcohol and drug addictions than we spend on education, agriculture, transportation, and foreign aid combined. And it's not just adults. Probably eight out of ten calls that I get from Oklahoma schools about drugs that they're finding on their campus. It's not marijuana and alcohol, it's kids bringing their parents prescription drugs. You guys ready to get this party really popping? Oh. All right. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. These kids get out of school at 3 o'clock, parents don't get home from work till 6. These kids or their friends are oftentimes left at home alone and they're going through medicine cabinets and they don't steal an entire bottle of 30 pills. A parent's going to miss that. A parent is not going to miss three or four of their pills. Leaving deadly consequences and lives in prison. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in the court of law. Do you understand the rights I've just read? Well, definitely an issue to be taken seriously and one that the student organization, the Business Professionals of America, feels strongly about. Now, some of the footage you saw throughout the story was from a competition the BPA students participated in to help raise awareness. So, Andy, when I had knee surgery, they gave me a prescription for painkillers, and I wound up only taking one because I just didn't like the way they made me feel. Now, we've all heard the warnings. What do I do with the rest of the pills that I just have laying around? Well, Rob, the Oklahoma Bureau of Narcotics have set up drop locations in each county in Oklahoma so people can take those pain meds to and drop them off in a secure location, and that way other people can't find that medication and be tempted to use them for the wrong reasons. All right. Thank you so much, and appreciate it. Well, overdose rates from prescription painkillers is rising much faster in middle-aged women than anyone else. A little later in our show, we examine how prescription addiction has led to incarceration for some very unlikely inmates. But when we return, we look at work underway on the legislative front.